than the Buddha. Yes, fair, fair enough. But what Allah uh, endorsed, what Allah uh, um, authenticated in the Quran is not the Bible. I'm saying that again. He authenticated the Torah, which has five books, Zabur, which is Psalms, and Gospel, Injil, singular, not Anajil, plural, one book. So seven books out of 66. That's what Quran is endorsing or authenticating. You are bringing 66 books and saying Quran is talking about Bible. So let's take the 66 books out straight away and let's talk about those seven books left. Okay. And I, I, so, I that's why I okay. want to concentrate. In that case, let's just today, let's just look at what is the Torah and what is the gospel according that's to Quran. Only the okay, Quran that, that, yes. we, we've got only half an hour, that's the only, only thing we can do. Okay. So according to your Torah is how many books? Five books. Okay. Can you produce your evidence form from the Quran? Identify the no. Torah as the five books. Quran never says five books. Quran okay. says Torah was given to Moses. Okay. Now we just learn in the history just, 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 that Abbas, Moses Abbas, had Abbas, five books. Abbas, just a so Quran doesn't tell you. Quran doesn't tell you Torah as five books given to Moses. Quran, Quran tells us. Torah was given to Moses. Bad, now, bad. Uh, you want to where? Chapter three, verse three, isn't it? Where does it in the Quran? Torah given to the Moses. Torah was revealed to Moses. Quran says that again. Yeah, yeah. Where does it? Since we want to break it down. Okay, you make me your point, and I'll uh, make another point. You can show me your verse. Now I'll find it for you. So I want you to first show me where is it in the Quran? Torah is revealed to the Moses. And where did he get the information? Torah is containing only five books. Quran is well detailed, well explained. I am sure Quran is able to tell you. And I would love you to show, make, a, make a good case. Torah contains five books from the Quran. I want you to give me a quotation in the Quran from the Genesis, quotation in the Quran from the Numbers, quotation in the Quran from Exodus, quotation in the Quran from Deuteronomy. To make your case that five books, Torah is the five books, and Torah is given to Moses. I'm going to show you Torah is given to Moses. So you are rejecting it? You are denying it that Torah was not given to Moses? That's what you're saying? That is just I'm, I'm not saying that. that. I want you to, as a Muslim, use your authority, which is the Quran, and then tell me where is it in the Quran? Allah tells you Torah is given to the Moses. After that, I want you to prove for me in well detailed and well explained Quran. Torah is the five books. So this is just a waste of time. This, this no, exercise no. is a waste of time. Because I want you to this make a case. A known fact the Moses was given where Torah. Is that fact? What is that fact? That's in the history, well, give me, give in me, the history give me, as well. Abbas, the, the, if it is well writers, known fact, it should be very easy for you to just produce the reference. What about if I find if in the hadith? If it is well find known hadith, fact, you accept hadith? Quran, what does Quran say about Bible? And we are going to talk about first identifying what is Torah. But Martin, why because are you it, arguing no, this fact? Abbas, you Abbas, are not rejecting. Torah was given to Abbas, Moses. Are you don't rejecting? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I think you are playing I am here. not five years old I child. Think you are playing here. No, I want you to. For me, when the talk, when the Quran talks about the people of the book, my interpretation and Islamic interpretation is: it talks about the Torah, it talks about the Zabur, it talks about the writings of the prophets. And then it talks about the New Testament. And what are the so, names of just, just the prophets? Moment, just a moment. What are the names? Just a moment. Just a moment. So, if you are disagreeing with this, you need to produce verse for me from the Quran. Torah is given to the Moses. After that, I need you to produce for me. Torah contains the five books. Well, at the moment, I can't find the verse which says Torah was given to Moses. But I'm Why just. Why not? A, but I'm just you said it was well known. Statement. Why can't you find it, Abbas? It's a well-known fact. If it is well-known fact, why can't you find it? Look, we know. Why can't you find it? We know God has revealed to Moses. Yeah, Moses was a messenger. Then we also know. No, no, Abbas. 
children of Israel, Abbas, look, children Abbas. of Israel follow Moses. Abbas, and we also we know children of Israel follow Torah. We are disagreeing what we know about one another. Okay? So I am disagreeing with you. The statements Quran makes about my scripture. Okay. Statements Quran makes about my doctrine. I got something Therefore, here. I got something here. Yes. And it says uh, like it says chapter two, verse fifty-three. Two fifty-three. Now we have to go to the commentary, of course. But, but let me read the verse. What it says. And recall, we gave Moses the scripture and the criterion that you are guided to the right way. Then in that commentary, uh, it says the criterion here means the understanding of the religion which uh, differentiates. This is the of Madhudi. Uh, it doesn't mention Torah here as well. But we can go to so, Ibn Kathir. Let's go Ibn Kathir. Abbas, we can go Ibn Kathir. Abbas, yes. my question is very simple. I think this is a silly you, argument here. You made a claim. Torah is given to the Moses. Yeah. Back it up. Back it up, okay. Oh, I can back it up with the Hadith? Back can I back it up, it up with the Hadith? If, but this is not what we are arguing actually. No, no, are, are we no. arguing about that? I, first of all, I need you to make a good okay. case and prove for me first no. five books of the Bible are the Torah given to the Moses. I, I, to I think it's an insincere argument because you are not rejecting that. So if you are not rejecting Torah is given to Moses, why are you asking me to show you from the Quran? Abbas? Why? You are not rejecting that. Abbas? Are you rejecting Torah Abbas? was given to Moses? So what kind of let, argument is yeah, this? Let me respond. Let me respond. Am I rejecting Torah is given to the Moses? Yes, I am rejecting. Islamic understanding that Torah is given to the Moses is the same. Oh, let me hold it. Moses, I Moses, I am Allah. That's book for you. No, I am rejecting that. Therefore, I need you to prove that from Islam. What you just said, I'm, I'm going to ask I, you back this question. Show me in Islam, it says that yeah, this is how it was given. Yeah. Show me. First, let show me where is it in the Quran. First five books of the Torah is identified as the Torah and given to the Moses. Okay. Well, I wasn't prepared for this answer because because Abba, this this was not the, this is not the debate. Abba, Abba. I thought it's just a given. It's acceptable that I Moses had to Torah. Make your case. I, I want you to make your case and pick up so-called facts. Okay? There is no verse in the Quran tells you Torah as a five book is given to Moses. I'm still looking. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. No, I cannot. I uh, know. Can I say something? Fair enough. I can't find it right now. Okay, there may be. Brother, brother Nazim. Where in the Quran it says the Torah was given to Moses? No, it doesn't say Torah, but it says Kitab. Kitab. Yeah. Which verse is that? It's a scripture, isn't it? Chapter two, fifty-three. You already looked at it. Chapter ten, verse one hundred and ten. Chapter ten, verse one hundred and ten. Okay, let's see what what it says. Then. Because here Hatun is uh, kind of arguing with me where Quran says that, but she's not accepting it. I mean, I, I thought she just. She said chapter 10, verse 110? Chapter 10, verse 110, yeah. It's 109 verse. 109 verse. That chapter is only 109 verse. Yeah. Maybe it's the next chapter? Chapter 11. Chapter 11, verse 110. Well, we have to find for Hatun the answer, isn't it? Otherwise, she's not going to let it go. Okay. Sorry, yes, sorry, and chapter we, 11. And we certainly gave Moses the book before, and there arose disagreement about it. And uh, now about the book reveal of it. What's the interpretation of that? Of, uh, sorry, commentary. I'm going to look at the commentary. Okay, it means this, uh, there is nothing new in the different uh, Quran. Okay, no, Moses. Okay. It's not. It doesn't say it's Torah. Okay, I can't show you in the Quran it says Moses had Torah. Okay, yeah. we established it is your homework to find oh, my stop reference giving from... Homework, man. Find my reference okay, write from it down the Quran. Here, then. Find my reference from the Quran well. that Torah is given to Moses. Okay? okay. Is that if hadith. you don't take it as a, hadith. Hadith. If you don't take that as a homework, mm. then we are establishing there is nowhere in the Quran yes. states that Torah is given to the Moses. Okay. okay. And you deny that. 
are, are, are you alright with that? Okay, okay. Fair enough. So, fair enough. since Torah, according to Quran, is not given to the Moses, and you know much better than Allah, and you know Torah was given to the Moses, can you tell me what are those books in the Torah? Quran doesn't mention the names. Okay, so what we have is Quran doesn't tell us Allah gave Torah to Moses and Quran doesn't tell us what is the Torah. Okay, so can you tell me why Book of Job in the Bible is not part of the Torah? Because what our understanding, Muslim understanding of Torah is, that was given to Moses. That our understanding is that. Like Muslim, I couldn't show you in the Quran. My question it's not, is not that. It probably be in the Hadith. It's definitely somewhere in the commentaries. So our understanding is Torah was given to Moses and not Job. I moved. I moved from that question. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so as a Muslim, yeah. since one of your beliefs is you need to I'm believe in the books, you need to believe in the previous books. Bible is one of those previous books. I am sure as a Muslim missionary, you read the Bible. Okay, so I want you to now make a case for me. What is it making you to reject, okay, book of Job, which is in the Bible, or a book of Amos, which is in the Bible, to not be part of the Torah? Okay. Um, so what, what, what makes you to believe what is the part of the Torah and what is not? Okay, no, look, first of all, okay, I can't show you in the Quran. But you know our source is not only Quran. Quran is our highest source. And then we also have Hadith. And in Hadith, uh, in Bukhari, in Bukhari we have a Hadith where it says, Go to Moses, the slave to whom Allah spoke, and gave him the Torah. So Hadith mentions. So this is our source. I couldn't show you in the Quran, fair enough. But Hadith has many details uh, about our, our, our belief. So in the Hadith, we, we know the Torah was given to Moses. So we, we as a Muslim can establish that, that Moses had a book which is called Torah. Then we learn what Torah is. And we ask the children of Israel what Torah is. Jews tells us what Torah is. First five, five books of Moses are Torah. Do you understand so, what I'm trying to say? So, so this is how we establish. There Quran, are five books. Quran is well detailed, well explained book according to Quran itself. Can you show me that verse where it says it's well detailed? Surah you need 12 to know verse 111. Can we read that then? Because you, you, you can it. say just, these things on top of your head, yeah. but you know the context. Quran is well detailed, well explained book. Surah 6 verse 114, Surah 16 verse 89, no, no, one by one. Surah 41 one by one. verse 3, don't Surah say the short 12 verse 111. Do that. That's not the point I'm time. making. I'm making different point. Quran over and over again makes a claim it is well detailed, I want you to well establish that. explained. What it means. Well detailed, well explained. What yet, it means. Yet, Quran fails to tell us something you know which Torah was given to the Moses. You know much, much better than Allah. And I'm so grateful that I meet human beings in 2018 who are more knowledgeable, knowledgeable than Allah. I am thankful to God words. for giving me that opportunity. Since Quran is silent for as a well-defined book, Torah was given to the Moses. My question was to you, my question was to you. You're throwing these red herrings in the Abbas, middle, you know, you, that need to be tackled Abbas, as well. Because you're building your case on these red herrings. Quran is well detailed, that's a red herring, you're building your case on that. We need to establish when Quran says that what it means, I can read it to you. Chapter 12, she's right, chapter 12, last verse of the chapter 12. Um, uh, verse 111. Uh, in their stories, a lesson for those. Oh, you say in their stories? You say in their stories? You say in the stories. In their stories. So my translation is in the stories. Okay. Oh well. Again, there's a difference Quran here. Messed there's up. a difference here. There were, there was certainly in their stories a lesson for those for those of understanding. Never was the Quran. In parentheses, a narration invented, but confirmation of what was revealed before it, and a well-detailed explanation of all things, all things, not little bit things, not little bit chocolate over there, little bit chocolate over there, all 
things. When it says all, I'm sure it means all. And guidance and mercy for the people who believe. Can so, I ask you a question? No, I Do you know finished. what to write that? I haven't finished. I haven't finished. So, this world that I would well explain Quran doesn't tell you Torah was given to Moses. This well that I would well explain Quran doesn't, I need to even, that first. Let's doesn't this verse. even tell you. Don't play with the sad no, subtitles. You're misunderstanding it. Subtitles. This well detailed, well explained Quran doesn't even tell you what is this five books of the Torah. If it's even five books. So I need you to seriously make a case for me from your holy book, Word of Allah. How many books is in the Torah? And what is your reason that you believe, I don't know, Book of Amos is not part of the Torah, Habakkuk is not part of the Torah, Isaiah is not part of the Torah. This is just a side side argument. I just want no, to remind I, I, I just want, want to remind to people what is my, Torah. My, can I the say daughters. whatever I like to say? Eh? Uh, it's just a side argument because, 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 because we have got the topic. No, but, but you are not on the topic. You, you are not. You are. You, yeah, you are not staying in the topic. You are going away from the topic. Topic was the Quran endorses the Bible. Yes, that was the topic. Now we start talking about how many books there are Torah, and this is not the topic. Topic was that you need to show me with Quran endorsing the Bible. Now I'm going to go back to this chapter 12, verse 111. She quoted. She, I don't know if she realized this chapter called chapter so, Joseph, I know. Yusuf. I and know. and I, ho I hope you don't mind me saying that your mentor, J. Smith, he used to say there is only one story is a complete story in the whole Quran. Only one story. And that's the story of Joseph, Yusuf. He said that's the only one complete chapter story. The rest are here and there bits and pieces. Now, isn't it amazing or is it a coincidence? After the end of this very story, Allah is saying that He has given details of all things. Is He talking about all things in, 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 in the universe or is He talking about, about this chapter, Surah Yusuf? He explained everything about Him in this story. So, uh, isn't it amazing a coincidence? After the end of this chapter, Allah is saying all details. So, my understanding of that is Allah is saying, the story of Joseph, Allah has completely explained what he was about. It's not like half story of Jesus, or half story of Moses, half story of Noah. It's from the beginning to end what happened to Joseph. So this is my understanding of this well detailed meaning is talking about this chapter. Here. Congratulations for being God again here. I told you, being God is very, very hard work, but you are up to job of God and you are up for job of scholarship. Here's the thing. First of all, that wasn't only the verse I told you. That was one of the fourth we can verse. We go one by one. One verse. of the fourth verse I told you. And you know what is more amazing? In the ne it doesn't talk about it is only for those surah, this surah Yusuf. It talks never was it. And your scholar put it down that it is Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that it is Quran. Now it is talking it? about it the Quran. So, since since you are going to deal with those junk side of the big, big argument, please, please keep in your mind, I am still waiting. Since you become a God, since you prove that you know much better than Allah, and much, much more than Allah, by expecting everyone to worship you today probably, I need you to tell me why book of Isaiah is not part of the Torah. It, I don't believe it's part of the Torah, but I need you to tell me why. You need to tell me what is in the Torah. You need to tell me what is in the Torah. I don't need to tell you what is you in the Torah. You need to tell me. So, you Look, the debate me. here is you need to no. establish the Quran endorses the Bible. Yeah, yeah, make your Quran. case. You haven't made your case yet. Quran is fall in love with the Bible. Give me, give me just Muhammad your, your does evidence. Muhammad fall in love with the Bible. Give me your evidence. Allah Let's leave this Torah and five books alone. Uh, no. On the side. Let's talk no. about what Quran talking no. about Abbas, the, the Bible. Abbas, you know, you dig yourself very big hole. And you know I'm going to put you. My Allah will take me out. 
So, yes. Your which Allah, is, is, your Allah is, is, can't take you out because you already helped out to Allah. So now you blame while Allah. Allah now you blame did God. not know if Allah gave the Torah to Moses or not. While Allah did not tell you when He said hadith, it, He meant the Quran. So, here's the thing. You need to tell me and you need to bring your evidence. What is it in the Torah? Identify books or sentence or anything identified as the Torah, which is according to Surah verse 1 to 4, as revealed from Allah. Okay? Tell me why that Book of Isaiah. Atun, that's not the topic. I, first, I, I, want with the topic. To, I want us to make a case. Torah is the word of God and Torah is the reliable. No, anything. Look, this is not the debate here. I'm not going to establish what Torah is. I'm not going to Why establish. Not? No, no. You cannot. I'm, I'm, it's not you are not. I'm just it's saying you that. Cannot. I'm just saying that the people of the book, they have changed. They distorted the books. That's what we're going to talk about here. Okay. And anything. Well, why say anything that goes against the Quran, I reject it. Okay. I'm anything not, I'm, goes so against the Quran. I don't have Quran, to establish what Torah is. Anything goes against the Quran, you are going to reject it. There is nowhere in the Quran Torah is given to the Moses. Why did you bring bring Hadith out for me? Why didn't you reject that? Because Hadith discredits the Quran while Quran is silent. But, yeah, no. Don't play with those no, stupid games. That doesn't go against the Quran. It goes against the Quran. Against the Quran. No. The Quran is silent. If, look, Hadith just, steps no, no. in and backs up. So, if somebody is silent and you somebody says something, that's not going Abbas, against. Abbas, if Quran say, would have said the Torah was not given to Moses and Hadith say Torah is given to Moses, that is going Abbas, against. How are you going to make your case? Telling me Torah is corrupted while you don't even know what is Torah. How are you going to make that case? So what is Torah? Torah is a bird? What is Torah? What is the Torah? Abbas, Tell me. Be honest here, Adam. Abbas, Let's not play games. I am here. taking my let's, time let's, okay. to speak to Look, you. I Can you take oh, I'm so glad the word of God seriously? It is the word of God makes a claim about your eternal life. It is the word of God. When you reject the one which revealed that word of God, going to send you to hell for a long time. It you is, know, we have wasted is, our 20 odd minutes just to uh, establish what Torah God is and what is not. Is very, very serious. Hatun, can you just so, be sincere? If the Torah, and let's establish as the word of God, Torah is a five book of yeah? If the Torah, yes. as the word of God, has been changed, yes. can you just tell me what are those books which has been changed and which part? Oh look, I'm going so to take. I've got I'm the Bible gonna... here. I want you to point out <laughs> I'm the part of in this Bible. This is which part argument. of the Bible? I, I Torah think. I, has okay, been I think we are debating here. Is I need to establish which are the books of Torah. I think that's what the debate is going towards. We, that was not supposed to be the debate. Debate is supposed to be. Because you made a claim, you need to back it up. Like what claim did I make? You said most Torah was given to the Moses, okay. and then you claimed, you know, they are the five uh, books. And Hadith says that. Hadith says that Torah was given to Moses. I showed you the hadith, didn't Quran I? Quran doesn't say it. Okay, Quran doesn't say that. So, now, I want okay. you to back it up for me. How many books is in the Torah? What are their names? Which part of those books have been corrupted? This is not the topic of the Quran. You must understand okay. that. Is Quran that is enough. Me? Okay, do you agree Abbas, with me Quran Abbas, mentioned Torah? Do you agree with me the Quran mentioned Torah? Abbas, okay. let's do you make agree it or very, not? very simple. Okay, I'm going to make it very, very simple. Look, Quran's topic is not the names of the books of Torah. I make it very, very simple. Okay? Please so, do. You're making it I'm going to go to the actually. Christian doctrine. Okay, right. from the first five books. Right. And I want you to tell me yes. which part of this Torah, yes. for the sake of argument, because yes. I wasted oh. 20 minutes, I'm giving you Five, first five books of the Bible right. is Thank the you. Torah. Oh, so kind of you. But that's your homework. I need you to back it up for next week. So, help me out. Yes. Is this the part of the Bible, part of the Torah, has been changed? I am assuming you are going to bring Surah 5 verse 13. So I want you to back it up. Okay? Yes, yes. Like what? To show you which are not the part of the Torah. Are you, are you, I got the evidence. Are you, are you waiting for me? I'm, I'm going to read the passage You're right. and it's yes and no question, part of the Torah or is this part corrupted? So you want me to play God now? 
you already uh, you already you... signed up for the job of God no, by making a claim you knew much better than Allah, Allah and much better than His word. No, no, so okay, what, I'm what's starting the from the Genesis chapter account. And, chap, uh, Genesis, one second. Okay. What number and verse? Verse Genesis one verse twenty six. Okay. Right. Then God said, "Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all creatures that move along the life." So. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Genesis chapter 1, I read the only couple of words. Is this part of the corrupted Bible or not? I'm not going to comment on this verse. Because you are not going to comment on it. On this verse. No, I'm going to say something. I'm going to give Abbas? you which cannot be part of God. Cannot be part from God. Abbas? That's what I'm giving you. I've got no, the evidence no, here. No, it's, So, you cannot comment Genesis chapter because 1, I'm not a scholar. verse 26 because I'm, to I verse I cannot 27. say one verse at a time. I can't just say that. I can't just pick this verse from God because I don't have that knowledge. I don't preserve the knowledge. Does the what? Quran have that knowledge? Does the Quran have, Does the, the, Quran have the knowledge? Which part of the Quran, Torah has been corrupted? No, Quran warns us. And Does, Quran gives us signals. That's not my question. Yes. Does the Quran... It's a very simple question. Does the Quran have the knowledge which part of the Torah has been corrupted? This is the wrong question. Because Quran has 6,236 verses and the Torah or the Bible has nearly 30,000 verses. So if Quran's every verse talk about every verse of the Bible, it would be really ridiculous. So, so Quran, Quran didn't doesn't talk... Have the knowledge Quran didn't talk... No, Quran has. Quran has. has. Quran tells you. Gives you the science, gives you the stories, which cannot be right. Quran contradicts, Quran clash with them. Okay. Yeah, Quran, so, Quran rejected since, those stories. Since, so this is how we imply. Since you cannot confirm Genesis chapter this 1, wrong verse 26 to 27 corrupted or not, okay? I'm going to be very generous today. Give me, give me the verses of the Genesis account, which you believe is corrupted. Genesis account which cannot be word which of God. Which you believe is corrupt. Cannot be word of God, yes. Which you believe yes, is corrupt. Yes, I can, I can. Yeah. I can. Uh, Genesis chapter... One second, yes. Ch uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. Genesis chapter 2, two, verse, two. verse 2. It cannot be a word of God. Okay, read it and make it up. Yes. And on the seventh day, God finished his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. So this I say cannot be a word of God. Why? Because uh, Quran tells us otherwise. I'm going to give you the... It's not much evidence. Huh? It's not evidence. As a Muslim, Quran is... My, this is what we argue. Sir, we sir, say Quran make is... Your case. Brother, brother, I'm just talking to him. Yeah. Sir, I'll yes. let him to come to you in a minute, okay? Sorry, okay. I'll let him to come to you in a minute. Okay. I'm going to show you where it says, where is my phone? Okay. Okay. Uh, we don't believe uh, God rested. Um, I'm going to look into the words. I didn't say I don't believe. I want you to produce your evidence from your from yeah. your sources, yeah, chapter... which tells me Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 is corrupt. That's right. Chapter 50, verse 38 of the Quran. Chapter 50? Yeah, 50, verse 38. It's corrupt because it doesn't agree. Brother, I'm talking to you. There's a debate going on here. Yeah, you can talk to me after, please. Okay, we created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them in six days. And weariness did not even touch us. Another translation say, and no fatigue has touched us. So, so I, my question my, was to let you. Let me make my point. Genesis says, God rested the seventh day. And Allah says, 
He created the six days and no fatigue has touched him. Okay. That is a clear contradiction there. Okay. There's a rest going on there. There's Allah says no fatigue has touched him. Okay. And we so, know what rest means here. Let, you rest after tiredness. Let me let me respond. So this is the let, clash let, with the Quran. Let me respond. Yes. I read you Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-six and twenty-seven, and then I asked you, is this corrupt or not? And my you answer said, was, you don't know. You cannot comment on it because comment. you are not scholar. And now you brought me from the Torah, Genesis chapter two, verse two, which confirms, according to you, that Torah is corrupted. Genesis. Yes. yes. So there is two books are disagreeing with one another. That's right. So I am sure, as you did your homework. You already looked for the, what is the Hebrew word for rested? What is the Hebrew word for rested? You tell me, I don't know. What is the Hebrew word for rested? You tell me. What is the Arabic word for rested? Testing my Arabic now? I can, I can tell you. You don't know? No, no. I'll, 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 well, I don't, I'm not an Arabic speaking person, you know that. I, I don't speak Arabic. I can read Arabic, but I don't speak Arabic. I believe it says, uh, I'm not sure about it's Lagu. Okay, you don't know. Masana. You don't know. Yeah. Do you know Arabic? You don't know. So, you brought up a verse from the Bible. Yes. Because they, it disagrees with the Quran. That's right. You didn't That's even cool. bother to check what is that rested means, Abbas? Abbas, you look, got I, to back up. English. Bible makes a English, claim about English your English. eternal. So, what, you tell me. Abbas. You tell me this Abbas, translation is different. Focus. Focus. The Bible makes a claim about your eternity because your Quran disagrees doesn't make the Genesis chapter 2 Tell verse me the Hebrew corrupted. word. Tell me the Hebrew word for that. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 is not corrupted. Tell me the Let Hebrew me word for that. You're making your argument on Hebrew word. Show me listen, the Hebrew word. Listen, I'm making a claim now. Listen. Why Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 is not corrupted? Because people of the book Jews and Christians agree what Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 tells so God us. It. And Hebrew word for that is Shalabat. Okay? Shalabat. It means also can be stop. God stopped from the creation after he created because he created can I say something everything now? now. I think you no. blame God here right Abbas, now. Abbas, because scholars Abbas, disagree with you. I got Abbas, three translations here Abbas, with a Hebrew word and every single translation Abbas, say rested, rested, and rested. Chapter Abbas, 2, verse 2, Abbas, the word is, is waya, wayas, both. And he says, and he rested, and he is King James, no, no, and he no, rested, just, just and rested. So you are playing God here right now. This is the Bible hub. So what is the Hebrew word for this? On top. You see that? But that verse has ceased. Vayas, vayas above. And he rested. He rested? He ceased? And that word also used in Joshua chapter 5. Chapter, so, yes. What seas mean here? Seas means... So, okay, Abbas, this is this Abbas, is another word. Abbas, I need you to focus now. Yes, yes. Hebrew word used there, okay, is, can be also interpreted as the stop, okay? Because Hebrew word, is, sorry, because it discredits your Quran, doesn't mean your Quran is correct, my Bible is corrupted. Jewish and Christians agree what is Genesis chapter 2 verse Okay. So, okay, Hatun, no, okay, I, I, you, don't need to, you, need to, you need to stop Abbas, here right now. Focus. No, no, Abbas, I haven't finished. Stop doing that. You know my Genesis, stop saying that. Genesis. You need to focus here as well. Genesis Listen. chapter two, verse two. Agreed by Jews and Christians. They don't go around and then say, "Oh my God, God got so tired and he rested." Our interpretation is not that. We mean God finished the creation and he stopped. So, Christians and Jews are agreed. Quran is disagreed. Why did you go with the Quran? What is your idea that Quran is not Quran scoring? Because I'm it show you something. does not mean it's the same. It's different. I'm going to show you something. You know that in your Bible, some stories are mentioned, repeated stories again and again. Now the same, same thing. Same like in the Quran. Atun, 
why are you not letting me speak? I'll let you speak. Because you are you changing must topic. learn you just need when to, to and how to listen. I you don't listen. Here. You I'm don't. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't. You don't listen. I you don't learn. I think you do not come in. Atom, Atom. There is a reason you have two ears and one tongue. So you just listen. What is the reason? Yeah. Did so you, you listen. Listen are more and speak less. Okay. Let me, are you God? Let me just make focus, my point. Let me focus. make my point. Okay. You keep saying focus, but you are not focusing. Listen to me. What I'm going to say now. Now stories have been repeated. Same like in the Quran. Now the same thing repeated in the Exodus chapter 31 verse 17, where rested is not only not only rested is used. He say he rested and he got refreshed. He is refreshed. How and why what God need to be refreshed? I mean, you got refreshed after you got tired, then you rest, and then you got refreshed, you got new energy. We do not believe God need to be refreshed. Because Quran telling us no fatigue has touched him. Can you can so, I No, no, let me make my point here. So you then you're gonna ask me, oh, where's the Hebrew word for that? That's why I'm going to Hebrew word. Where's the refresh? So are you denying? That the Exodus chapter 31 verse 17 says God refreshed. Are you denying that as well? You you put rested in the bin and play God. Are you denying re uh, refreshed as well? Can I respond? Yes. So you are disagreeing. You are disagreeing. Sorry, you are going against your Quran and giving me the biblical references according to your confirms Bible has been corrupted. And your ref one of your references, Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. Even in the context, it says creation is stopped now, God finished with the creation, he's rested. Okay? God don't rest, which, that's what I'll argue. God which doesn't need us already told you does not mean God got tired. I got that. Refresh. Talk, answer me about the refresh then. Abbas, yes. let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, which does not mean, which does not mean God got tired and now he's resting from his tiredness and I'm getting hot chocolate to refresh. refresh. That does not mean that. In the context it means he finished his creation. Can we go to the dictionary and find what refresh? Uh, so, I have never been patronizing my whole life. I've been patronizing 15 minutes. Focus about. That is nothing personal. You are getting. You are playing God with me. You are committing shirk. Remember, my Bible makes a claim that your eternity is in the bad, 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 Ten times so, bad. if you have a problem, if you have a problem, yes. God is rested. Can you just tell me? Refresh. Can we read the meaning of refresh? Uh, Abbas, I'm going to do one point. You're one running point. away from it, you know. I'm doing one point, one point. Right. I told you, Christians and Jews already agree. Genesis chapter two, verse two. There is no Jew tells us Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 needs to be different. That doesn't mean if you agree is right. That doesn't mean two people agree that means it's right. That doesn't make it right, isn't Abbas. it? The whole people were against Jesus. They wanted to kill him. Were they right? Minority was with him. They were right. They so majority, him. majority doesn't they make it right. Him. Majority doesn't make it right. They killed him. So don't say they because Christians and Jews him. agree that that makes they it right. They killed him. Okay. Christians and Jews agree. What is Genesis chapter two verse two? And we Muslims don't agree with that. Muslims don't agree about it. Because we as, know God don't rest. As, God doesn't need rest. As the Christians don't agree. Are you Christian? No. Do you think? What What is your belief? What, what are you? Do you believe in God? Jewish, if you like. Yeah, Jewish. Okay. Do you believe God is poor and he needs money? No. So, Christians don't believe and Jews don't believe God is poor, he needs money. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I cannot say Quran is corrupted because Quran teaches Allah is poor and he needs money. Can you back so, it up? I'm I back it up with the words. Can I'm you back it up and say that. Allah is poor I'm gonna and Allah needs money? Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 only states God finished the creation. Martin, why are you stuck on 2 2? 31 17. Exodus I'm, I'm 31 17. I'm going to come to that. Okay. Genesis 2 verse 2 confirms God finished the creation and he stopped from creating. Okay, that's all it says. That's all it states. So, are you moving to Exodus now? Why will you move to Exodus? Are you telling me rest of Genesis, 50 chapter of Genesis, is 
I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Look, okay, when give I'm me other references. When I'm going to show Which you, when I'm Genesis going to show you, look, wrong. if I'm going to show you, and when I'm going to show you the corruption or fabrication in the Bible, that doesn't mean I'm going to show you all 31,000 verses. I'm not. I'm just going to pick some of them to show the the the, the understanding here is this. The word of God should be clear from any error. That is the understanding. I know. Let That's let why me make I will let never me, become let a Muslim. Me, let me make my point. Word of Allah this messed is not, up and This is not the church. argument of debate of today. The Quran has the uh, fabrication or not. Because you are afraid of talking about Quran. You want to talk about it? Let's talk. Look, you're changing the no, topic no, now. No, finish this topic. I, I am, I am not Quran. shy of talking about the finish Quran this topic. without any error. So my point here is that if I show you one or two or three or four errors in the Bible, that is enough for me to conclude that I cannot trust this word. You can't just say, okay, so you only show me four, there are 31,000 verses. I'm not going to show you every single one. I'm, say, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with something which is perfect, and that is the Quran, okay. rather than something which is muddy or, 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 or has errors in it. This is so, my uh, understanding. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Bible. Torah, Zabur, all the languages used use for the Bible is identified as the Word of God. If it's corrupted, it tells us Allah is not capable to protect this book. That's a different topic. We will come to that. But, but, here's the thing. Let's say sake of the argument, let's say sake of the argument, there are errors in the Bible. Are you trying to tell me those errors makes Bible not the reliable word of God? That's yes and no question. That's exactly what okay. I'm saying. So there are errors in the Quran. Not, 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 just not, not just even one. one. Just one. If I find one error in the Quran, yes. will that make Quran not the word of God? Absolutely. Okay. But that I'm is gonna, not that is not I'm the debate of today's debate. Today's debate, keep you to today's debate is does Quran endorse the Bible? That's I'm the debate. I'm keep you accountable for that. So, you just brought the evidence which according to you, yes. Bible is corrupted. Yes, okay. Bible is corrupted. Just a moment, Torah is corrupted. Yes, okay. fabricated, so, interpolated. So, can you tell me, can, can you tell me, what is the book you need to go, you need to go and find Muhammad as prophesied coming coming Okay, prophet. No, I, can, I can answer that. Now, now the understanding here is no, this. No, 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 just answer my question. I'm answering your question. I'm asking the way I want to no, answer. Don't, don't do no, essay. no, the understanding here no no understanding here is I say is actually you are the one who's doing essay and you're giving me homework as well again and again. So anyway, that's another topic. The so, uh, understanding here is this that when we say Bible has corruption and fabrication and interpolation in it, we saying every single verse has been corrupted. We are not saying that. We saying that anything which agrees with the Quran, like Quran says there's only one God, so does the Bible say Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Elohinu, Yahweh Yahweh. So we agree with that. We have no reason to reject it. La ilaha illallah. So there are things which goes with the Quran, we take it. Things go against the Quran, we completely reject it. Okay, let me and those things that. which are neither against the Quran, neither uh, uh, with the Quran, we can analyze that by looking at the history with the facts of science. It can be right, common sense, logic, reason, and then we can analyze that. So that, for that reason, we are not saying every single word of the Bible is corrupted. We are not saying that. So for that reason, Allah says, even in that corrupted Bible, you can find Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, even in that corrupted Bible. Can you show me from the Quran? Yes. Show me from the Quran. Gives you the criteria. Anything disagrees with the Quran? You're running out of that That's implied. That's implied. That is implied. Where? That is implied. Where? Allah says Allah, Where? Quran is the word of Allah. Where? Quran is the word of Allah. Okay. You want me to show you? What do you want me to show you? I want you to bring a reference from Quran which tells you if it is disagreeing with the Quran, therefore it is not. Do you know what criterion means? Chapter 5, verse 48, I think you're looking for. Yes. Focus. Simple question. Atul, focus. Simple Chapter question. Chapter 5, verse 48. Seriously. Read 548. Remember, my question was, where is it saying if something disagrees with the Quran, therefore it is Quran? Atul, when it says criterion, Quran is watcher over it. Quran is criterion over it. That implied that if anything goes against the criterion, which is a yardstick, 
That is not right. That's not a word of God. I think it was 48 or 49. What is it? Let's read it from 47. Right. People of the book. Sorry. People of the gospel. Yes. Judge what Allah has revealed. Okay. Hang on, you missed out there in. Just, just a moment, just a moment. You just missed out, they said, read there in. Abbas, just a moment. There in what? We're going to run out of battery. So if you want to carry on, shall I film? This is running out of battery. Yeah, I think we could go another 15 20 minutes at least. So have you got the phone? Uh, uh, it's, it's fine, no worries. Um, read the whole verse. We are talking about the Torah. He sent down the Torah. What verse? What verse? 44. Oh, we got 44 now, okay. We sent down the Torah, in which is guidance and light. Yes. It's the same Allah doesn't even tell you no what commentary, is the Torah. Don't, just read the words. Abbas, don't give your commentary. Abbas, just focus. Read why, the words. Why are you so afraid of my commentary? No, because your commentary why can change God? the meaning. Your, your oh. your, it's your words. Commentary is your word. Remember? Quran is the one that held well explained. Let's see. Again, that red Harry. I told you what it means. Torah, in which is guidance and light. The prophets who submitted, submitted, judge for for it, Judas judge by yeah. it for the Jews, as the Hang rabbis That's your and the scholars. The Jews have the Torah. That That's your answer. Jews has the Torah. Yeah. That's Quran and is telling. Quran is saying. Chapter two, verse two. Quran is saying Torah is to Jews. Finished. And Jews have five that books. Which, with which they are entrusted of the scripture of Allah and they were witness thereto. So do not fear the people, but fear me. Do not exchange my verses for small voices and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it has those who are the disbelievers. Can I reply? This verse okay. doesn't May, okay. now, my question, What was my question? What, no, no. Make your comment what about this verse. What was my question? Make your comment about this verse. What, this, what, what you read? was my question? Why you read this verse? What was my question? Why, why, why you read this verse? What was my question? I don't question? know what was your question. You didn't listen? Yeah, because I'm focusing so many things. So I, I just really did not Abbas, tell, tell me that seriously. Was, yes, yes, remind me. Where did you get your authority? Which doesn't even tell you right, yes, yes. what are the books of the Torah. Tell you anything disagrees Don't with the Torah, the therefore discredit it. Okay, I'll tell you what my source is. I'm going to give you my source, and I gave you actually 548. And What's then I read it 544. You didn't read 548. Allah entrusted and then told them to judge by the Torah. Exactly. Which one do you want me to answer? Okay. You, let's you do, put let's a new do question one point, here. No, no. Let's do one point. One yes, point. please, one point. One. First of all, bring me your evidence. Yes. For the person who gave you the narration for 44 and then 48. So, so you want me to answer 44 and 48 as well? Yeah. 48, so 48 actually. The verse you are using. I'm the 44 yes. one I am 40, using. Actually, you should have used better words than that, isn't it? There are better words than that. It's just better, 10, better, 10, better. 10, 1094, I think. Yeah, yeah. Better. Yeah, but 1094 is great. Yeah, yeah, no. Can we, use, can we use 1094? No, no. Yeah. First, let's focus. Okay. Since we established, no, 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 no. Quran doesn't tell us. I'm going to answer your Torah question. Torah was given to Moses. I'm going to say. Since we established, Torah doesn't even tell us five books were given to the Moses. Quran doesn't even tell us what are those books. And now we are establishing, Quran doesn't even tell you. If anything disagrees with the Torah, therefore throw it on the book and therefore it is corrupted, therefore it cannot be the word of God. Very nice, very nice. Now, you have said to me a few times, focus, focus, yes. I'm going to say to you one thing, be sincere. And I really mean that when I say sincere. And I'm asked telling myself as well, be sincere. When we read into the scriptures, we need to be sincere, open-minded, open-hearted. Now, I am very sincere. I am very sincere because I have a concern for your soul. Because my God concern for your soul. You make me cry therefore, again, you know that. therefore, He wants you to repent and come to Lord Jesus. Anybody have a handkerchief? Because seriously, something coming up, I'm gonna cry because. Use my scarf. No, no, it's okay. Abbas, use my scarf. I, know, I, I, I cry. Oh, I want I you to repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Islam. As you dig into it, 
It's only it's been only half an hour. Having a debate you're and already not proved. To your, your preaching. You already proved Muhammad is false prophet. You already proved Quran is false book, and you already proved Did I prove Quran Muhammad is, is a false prophet? not enough itself. No. Okay. Therefore, Can I answer? Therefore, I am very sincere because I know. My God doesn't only love you, He died yeah, for you enough. and He wants you to repent no, okay, of us. Okay. Don't make those silly claims. That's, I think we both made him do I think we both made plea to each other. I asked for sincerity and she asked me back as well that I need to repent. Now, why, why I say that to be sincere? Repent. Repent is not in Islam. David. That's a Christian concept. What do you mean let me answer. Let, let me answer right now. Now, why I say that to be sincere? You know, Quran is not like the Bible. When Bible Ezra or Nehemiah or John, when they sat you down, why you know when you speak? Sorry. Okay, you need to hold your whatever spirit is just there. Just hold it. So now Quran is not like a Bible. It's not revealed like as I say, Ezra and Nehemiah or John, like they sat down and they write down exactly history or whatever. Quran is has a chronological chronological order. Some verses came first year of the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, some came in the 20th year, some 23rd year. Now this verse what she read, 544, is talking about the Jews uh, and uh, basically saying, oh, they have the book, you know. This came in the last years of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Chapter 5 came in the last years of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's the third last surah revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You need to keep that in mind. And keep that in mind, as it is know, last surah revealed, one of the last surah is revealed, Allah says, judge by it, judge by it. Which verse are you recommending? Which verse? 44, 47. No, no, you need to give me the reference. 44. No, can we talk about this 44 one first? Judge can we talk about it? Okay. Now, judge you, you're cutting me in, you know, let me finish, make my point. Can I have just one minute or a minute and a half? Take I'm just going to make my point. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What I'm just trying to make a point here, that's why I ask you to be sincere. What I'm going to say, listen carefully. Now, Quran came in 23 years. Now, when this verse came, there were already many verses came well before that. And this is addressing to the Muslims at the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And now, when this verse was revealed, already they knew. Chapter 2, verse 79, already told us, they already had, had in their mind that they have ch ch changed the word with their own hands and that they say this is from God. They oh. already knew oh. chapter oh. 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 Jews. Talk about the Jews. What they changed? Oh. You can refute they me in your time. What they changed? You can refute me in my, your time. Oh. Please. Oh. please. Oh. That's why I say, please let me make my point. You don't even let me make my point. I don't my point. No. Ramadan, Am I lying? Does not okay, open chapter 2, verse 79. I asked chapter you, 279. Who, which book? Who? Which Cha book? Okay, chapter 2 was seven children of Israel. Which Talk one? about Jews. Chapter which 279. One? How many Jews were exist in 7th century? Oh, this is now you, you know you're going side no, argument. I, I'm asking what? Simple you're going to say, okay, which one? What was the name of the tribe? I love to know. It's just saying. I really love to know. It's just saying children of Israel. I love to know because Hatun, Hatun. it makes a claim Hatun. about your eternity, we man. Cannot, it's serious. We cannot have a fruitful debate if you're not going to let me finish my point. Even if I'm saying what is wrong, lie, let me complete my point. So then you can refute. So you just cut me in half. Now, chapter 5, verse 13 and 14 also tells us. Chapter 5, verse 13 tells us, which came before verse 44. That these, those who call themselves Jews, they have distorted and they have forgotten the portion of it. Verse 14 is telling us, those who call themselves Christians, they have forgotten the portion of it. Then I think there's a uh, chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 91. There are several verses which came before this one, which already told us Jews have been given book, they have thrown in the back and they have concealed things. I, I can give you, I can quote the, the verses to you as well. Ch yes. Chapter, okay. Chapter 3, 1, verse 87, they say the same thing as well. Okay. Chapter 6, verse 91. So when this verse came, Muslims already knew the position of Jews with their scripture. So keeping that in mind, this verse 44 with the context including verse 48 which telling us the Quran is a criterion over it. The criterion is basically mean the standard, the one the judge, which are like a yardstick. When Quran made a criterion, meaning anything disagree with the Quran, it's implied. It cannot be a word of God. Okay. That's my point. So here's the here's the flaws what the you are saying. Here's the flaws what you are saying. 
Who are those Jews in Surah 2 verse 78 and 79? Give me the names of those Jews. How they were capable to change all of them. I would love to know. I really love to know. And if to chapter 5, as you said, one of the last revelation, it says, judge, Jewish people judge by it. Why Allah? doesn't even tell us what are those books that Muslim, uh, Jewish people need to judge. Verse 48, here is the time when you become your own God, which is shirk, and you are going to burn for that in hell according to your tradition. And we have revealed to you the book, 48. We have revealed to you the book. What is that book? Quran. How do you know? It doesn't say. Who is this? So anything goes against it, I reject it. It's just simple. No, you just a Anything goes against it. The original. I tell you how. And just a Anything goes against it. Anything goes against it. Anything goes against the Quran, you reject it. While Quran doesn't give you that. Right. And, and what Quran makes you say that? doesn't give you right. What, what show makes, me the verse. What makes you show say me that? the verse. I just show you no. verse 48. A is pass. telling us. Quran read it with me. Read? read it with can me. I, can I read it? We have revealed to you. To whom? The Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where? Where does it say? It's addressing Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where? How do you know? Uh, Hatun. Read pass. the context. How? Hatun. Read the context. Already talk to the people read of the, the book. Read the whole verse. Talk to the people of the book. We have revealed to you the book. Okay, the what book? Okay. How do you You know? already made a claim the Torah was given to Moses. Is this that book? What is this book? In I'll answer, truth, I'll answer your question. Confirming Who am I to? that which proceed of the scripture and there's a criteri criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah Who has Allah revealed to? To? Allah to? I don't know. No, I, I'll tell you. It's just telling, look, read the but whole who, verse. It's who just is a, Allah talking to? Let me speak, please. Yeah, answer the question. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm asking you a question. If I read the words, you will understand. Unless, as I say, if you're not sincere, then you don't want to understand. You can wake up a person who's asleep, but you can't wake up a person who is pretending to be asleep. Because you can't wake that person up because he or she pretending. So if you are sincere, then you will understand what the verse is saying. Now I'll re read that again. Then we, we reveal the book to you with truth confirming whatever of the book was revealed before. If he's talking to Jews, then what book was revealed before Jews? So of course he's not talking to Jews. Is he talking about the Christians? Okay, the Torah was revealed before that. Then say if he's talking about the Christians, let's see. And protecting and guarding over it. Judge then in the affairs of men in accordance with the law that Allah has revealed. So Allah is basically asking Jews and Christians, judge them, judge who? It has to be only Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talking to him and telling him that we reveal to you no. and judge Let the, me the, respond the to that. came before. Let me respond to that. That's the only Let thing that makes me sense. Respond That's what every that. commentator says is about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let and if you say I no, don't care what the commentary says. Those comment people who make those commentaries are not your God. I care what the Quran says and a, why the Quran is silent. Argument. If you say don't don't oh, play those not, sincere words with me. This is not about Muhammad This is not a sincere. Abbas, don't play that sincere word with me. I already told you. I am here because my God loved you so much. He nailed Himself on the cross for you. You've got to repent. How you are going to end me, up in hell. Tell me. So, let me say, then we so the book five, to you. Who was Allah talking in the Quran? Abbas. He's talking to Jews that we have revealed the book to you. Abbas. Focus, listen what I'm saying. Focus and. Huh? Maybe another 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. Focus what I'm saying. Yeah. Already in verse, from read it from verse 43 to verse 47. Allah is already gave authority to the Torah and to the New Testament, to the Old Testament and to the what New authority? Testament. What authority? Give authority to the Torah and to the Gospel. What, what he already no, he told them, no, judge no, by it. Okay, this is what you would not listen to. Let, let me read the verse 47. No, no, let me read Abbas, the verse 47. Let me finish. Let me finish. Allah already Quran told them to judge by it. And then you come to verse 66, it says, obey. Christians need to obey their scripture. 
68. You have nothing to stand unless you uphold the Torah and the Gospel. If Quran is the criteria, if the Quran is the criteria, why Allah is already expressed how much he is falling in okay, love I think, I think with I'm the gonna, Torah I you, and the, with the gospel. I'm going to explain that to you with an easy example. I hope I'll get the example right. Most of the time I got a wrong example. For example, for example, if I if I write a description as, as a doctor, if I give you a description uh, uh, that these are the medicines. Are you really this, doctor? Huh? Are you doctor? I'm not going to tell you that. I might be. I'm doctor of the scripture, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, that I will know, like, I don't go to that hospital. Okay. okay. That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, if I... Okay, I'm not a doctor, I'm wrong example. If I write a letter, in that letter... Uh, but I also know in that letter somebody interpolated something, in which I warned you, I sent the letter, but there's somebody else wrote things into it, then I'll tell you, Follow in that letter what I have written it. Implying there are other things as well, don't follow that, but what I have written it. That's exactly what these verses are saying, which I'm going to read when I say, follow what Allah has revealed therein. Now remember, as I tell you, I'm telling you earlier, this surah was revealed in the last years of Muhammad. And before Muslims already were told, chapter 2, verse 75 to 79. Chapter 6, verse 91, uh, chapter 3, verse 187, uh, chapter 5, verse 13 and 14, what Jews have done. They have distorted it, they have forgotten it. Keeping that in mind, Allah say, follow what Allah has revealed there in it. Its implication is there, everything in there is not what Allah's revelation. So Jews and Christians follow what Allah has revealed therein. And then Quran is your criterion, it's the standard and judge. So this is how you're going to see Torah and your Bible. Don't say I'm playing God again, so, because this is so, exactly how it is. I see once again, you are proving Allah is a big and big failure. Once again, you are proving Muhammad is really, really a very bad false prophet. So, this is the Quran, which already doesn't even make a claim that Torah is given to the Moses. This is the Quran, which doesn't even tell you what is the Torah. This is the Quran, which already tells if people want to know Muhammad is prophet, who do you go to? People of the book. Can you show me that? I will. I, want this to, is, I don't want you to show me the Quran where Allah says that. Uh, Please. I'm sure you don't know that. 94. Yes. I'm sure you don't know that. Let's go. Let's Abbas, one I am by going, one. I'm responding. I'm responding. Okay. Up, no, so wrap up, let's wrap it up. So let's respond. Because this is your as words. we saw, back it up as the we saw, Allah is very, very bad communicator, and you already proved for me Muhammad must be false prophet, while nowhere in the Quran, I am as a Christian or he is as a Jewish told to follow the Quran. I am told I must judge by my book. I must you judge go to them by if you my show me the verse in the Quran. book. I I want oh, to Muhammad, I really want to if you. you are in a doubt, yes. go to the people of the which book. Verse, which verse? 1094. 1094. So, Thank you very much. Let, let, I, I haven't you? finished my point. Okay. I haven't finished my point. So far, as we are talking about is the Torah and the Gospels are reliable or not, we established, we established all knowing Allah with all his infinite knowledge, failing his communication skills while giving authority to the Torah, while giving authority to the Gospel, while keeping people of the big, people of the book accountable for Muhammad's coming good of prophet. Can I make a point now? I haven't finished. I haven't finished. As we already established, as we already established, Allah just messed up. Okay, just, just, just two minutes. Okay. Can I conclude now? Because somebody needs to have a debate. Because it's been going on for long anyway. Let's talk about... Do you need to go? Do you need to go? Okay.
Did they you need, need to go? Uh, they need you. How long is it? No, no, I don't need to go. I continue, 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 huh? continue. Are you sure? Continue. Okay. Just talk to me right now. Brother, I'm just making a point. Uh, maybe another 10 minutes, then we will conclude. We'll be going on for one hour. No, make your conclusion, but if okay. they need you, no, then they go. don't need me. I think they need to debate with you or something. I don't know. Oh, I haven't scheduled any debate. Yeah, I think with Daniel. Anyway, anyway, let's talk, boss. I like Hatun, I'll, I'll appeal to you once again as a sincerity. Really, really, I mean to. Because what I, I think you got it so wrong. Now, 1094, she say, Allah says... This is Muhammad, your conclusion, okay? Don't go Muhammad to the meetings. Salam, yes. Conclusion, yeah? Okay. I'm going to conclude. Give me about three minutes. Is that okay with you? Three minutes. Now, 1094, she say, this is her, uh, her brownie point. That Allah say, if you have a doubt, O oh Muhammad, go to the people of the book. Yes? What is Allah saying here? Or we need to read one verse before that to understand why Allah says that. We read one verse before, verse 93, 1093. We settled the children of Israel in a blessed land and provided them with all manner of good things. They only disagreed among themselves on and on. But the main point here, Allah says, we settle the children of Israel in a blessed land. Now, this chapter is chapter Yunus, which This chapter already proves my, Israel is belong to the Israelites my, anyway. Excuse me, this is my turn. You cannot just interrupt me because you can't just break my emotion here. I'm in emotion here. So 1094 then tells us, remember 1090 say, 93 say, we settle children of Israel in a blessed land. And this surah came in Makkah. Is talking to pagans, not Jews, talking to pagans. Now the next verse says, now if you are in doubt, Daniel, could be Muhammad Daniel, Muslim, Daniel, could be Muslims, could be pagans. Now I say, if you are in doubt concerning what we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading the book before you. It is the truth that has come to you from your Lord, so do never become one of those who doubt. Meaning, we settle children of Israel in the blessed land, if you have a doubt what we have just revealed to you, ask the people of the book. Now if you ask the people of the book, is that true? That you were settled in the blessed land. So when we go to Genesis 28 verse 13 and Genesis 35 verse 12, where God says we are going to establish you in this blessed land, in the holy land. Talking about Abraham, Jacob and Isaac. So this exactly this verse is saying. Verse is not saying the whole book. It's talking about this what we just revealed to you. They have been settled in the blessed land. Now I'm going to make a conclusion here. Conclusion is this. You are like that person who is standing outside the house. Beautiful mansion. And talking about the beauty of that mansion. There is a one designer of this mansion. Just, just to, this is a, there's a one designer of this mansion and 40 builders. They have built a beautiful house, mansion, and talking about all these big things. But you're not letting person go in. Why don't we just go in and have a look in that mansion, what is in there? But when we go in, I'm talking about the Bible here. We go in it and we found there are so many faults in it. It was maybe a design, original design by one designer, 40 builders build it, but over time that mansion has been spoiled. It's been wrecked. It has been all ports going on there. So what we need, we need, we need a, a we need a blueprint for that mansion to bring it back in order. And we say that blueprint is the Quran. Quran tells you why, why I say that. Give example I give. Bible, you talk about Bible a lot of things. Forty writers and some beautiful things, love and all that. But when you go into the Bible, you find fabrications. You find interpolations. You find contradictions. You find stories being put into. Verse is the story of the adulterous woman, not supposed to be there. Last 12 verses, the mark is not supposed to be there. There are many, there are, there are many other contradictions. Nehemiah, I'm going to conclude now. Nehemiah and Ezra, they tell us the story of the uh, as, uh, people come back from the uh, from Babylon, back into the Jerusalem. That they have contradictions, mathematical error, 21 contradictions in 64 verses. There are so many fallacies in that Bible. Then you are asking me, where the Quran says it has been corrupted? You don't need a Quran to see if it's corrupted or not. You just open the Bible and you see contradictions are there. Okay. So, let, so the, let, this, let this, me, your let argument, the Quran doesn't say that. Okay, let me make my I conclusion. My let me make my conclusion. So, we start talking about if the Quran confirms the reliability of the Bible or not. We already noticed. Can you reply that? We already noticed. We already noticed. Quran doesn't even tell us if the Torah was given to Moses. We already noticed 
all-knowing Allah doesn't even know what are books in the Torah. We already confirmed Surah 5, Surah 5 tells Jewish and Christians they need to judge what is in their hands. For Islam to be exist, they need not only the people of the book, they need the scripture of the people of the book. But yes, Bible is written by 40 different people in lots of different locations. Amazing thing is, it confirms to one another. Quran is written by one person, within God knows when it is written, by whom, but revealed to one person in 23 years, in 23 years, we have no knowledge of it. We know it's already messed up. And we've been standing here maybe for half an hour. You already make a claim. You already make a claim. You knew the things Allah did not know. You already made a claim. You already made a claim. You knew the things. Okay, carry on, carry on. Go on, carry on. You already knew the things which Muhammad didn't know. So, I once again, I congratulate you that you become God for Muslims. You become more knowledge knowledgeable than a, Muhammad himself. Herring. That's a red that, no, that's 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 what it is. And remember. For religions Islam to be exist, you need the book of the people of the book. For religions Islam to be exist, you need the people of the book too. And really, the Christians and Jews are telling you very simple thing. Muhammad is false prophet, Islam is false religions, and Allah messed up. You must repent from your sins and open your heart that all the junk you are saying. Bible is all about love, love, love. No, Bible is all about for you to repent that you have eternal life with your creator. I read it from Genesis chapter 1. You are made in God's image. And so far, so far, as the image of God, with this book, you are going to end up in hell because you don't only reject the son, you also reject the father. Therefore, you are going to end up in hell. This is another opportunity for you to repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But you choose to attack the book of the people of the book, which is shame, which is shame. I'll speak to you next week. Okay,